Hello, Big Show, the Northeastern. Post-tropical cyclone Hermine is now a fading memory as it's dissipating off the northeast coast. We have Invest 92L, which is in the short term not going to develop. It's being affected by some wind shear to the west here and the island of Hispaniola. If it can get past Hispaniola and parts of eastern Cuba, it may have a chance once it gets out into the southern Gulf of Mexico. Many of the models taking it near the northern tip of the Yucatan or even into the southern Gulf and maybe starting to bend it towards the north. So we'll watch it here as a subtropical high keeps it on a west-northwesterly track. As I said, there'll be some violent wind shear it will encounter that's between Cuba and Hispaniola. So if it can make it past this area, it will make it and emerge on the other side. And if it's intact, it will redevelop. Let's take a look at the uh, problems across the continent here. We're starting off with uh, precipitation across the country. Look at this, especially here across the Midwest into the Great Lakes and into central Canada here. We're looking at a lot of problems here as the jet stream really digs. Take a look at that jet stream digging here. It's on the eastern periphery of that trough, this ridge here building in the east. We'll see all that storminess. And of course, we've still got cutoff pattern off the east coast here. We'll have to watch for more tropical development in the Atlantic. Taking a look at, before we start with the Northeast, drought monitor. Drought continuing to build here across the southern Great Lakes, western New York north and western Pennsylvania here into the southern tier, upper Susquehanna River Valley, even here into southeastern New England, into New Hampshire, especially eastern Massachusetts here. We're looking at a very bad drought, severe drought in southern Ontario here, really detrimental. Take a look at the forecast starting off with the midpoint of your week. Wednesday, look at this. We're looking interesting across the northeast here. Not too bad. Temperatures really warm for this time of year late summer day really getting well up into the 80s and even 90s here portions of dc and philadelphia just downright dangerously hot into thursday take a look at this we start to get into some strong to severe thunderstorms across southern ontario of course across the northeast we're looking okay for the most part towards the coastline we're getting rid of hermine here take a look here across portions of northern Ohio into Ontario. Large hail damaging winds possible into your Friday. Take a look at this TGIF. Of course, we're kicking in this system, kind of stalling out. This is going to set the stage, unfortunately, later on Saturday for thunderstorms. But nevertheless, not too bad for your Friday, holding on to some very warm temperatures here, especially across southeastern Pennsylvania into Maryland. Look at this Saturday, still looking at that chance, that warm front pushing back to the north here. Showers and thunderstorms developing across the Great Lakes region here. And yes, it will be beneficial rain, but for many of you weekend goers, it's not something you'll be looking forward to as 40 to a 60% chance, especially from Buffalo, Rochester on westward here. In 10 seconds, I'll have a five day outlook from my hometown viewers and Susquehanna region of upstate New York and Northeast Pennsylvania. Facebook, MediaMark, website, MediaMark.com. YouTube Media Mark. Take a look at the five day. Take a look at this starting off with your Wednesday all the way through the weekend. Wednesday not looking too bad into Thursday. Very warm and toasty. Chance of a late day thunderstorm, but most of them will be isolated into your Friday. Friday looks really nice. Saturday, a chance of thunderstorms later in the day towards evening. Temperatures getting up into the 80s. But Sunday for this weekend looks like your best day. Lower humidities and highs in the lower 70s. That's going to do for this edition of Weather Northeastern.